it's super important to find a time to review your life and to think about if you are living as your best self. That's one of the reasons I'm a high performance coach is because I really believe in doing whatever you can to live into that best self, to step into that best self, to become that best self. And a number of years ago, I, I decided that a really good time to think about this was during the High Holy Days, the Jewish High Holy Days, between Rosh Hashanah, the, um, the Jewish New Year, to Yom Kippur, which is the Day of Repentance. And during those 10 days, you're supposed to be looking at your sins and trying, you know, asking for forgiveness for those sins and, you know, whether that's asking forgiveness of God or asking forgiveness of specific people or, um, and even doing what you can to rectify whatever wrongs you might have um, made along the way, right? So you need to find a way to make it right. So in any case, um, I decided this 10 day period was a good time to do that and to really look at how you were living as your best self. But what I wanna to say to you is if you're not Jewish, it doesn't matter, this video is still for you because I think that at any time of the year, you could take 10 days to do this. And I wrote a little book called 10 Days and 10 Ways to Return to Your Best Self. And it's available on Amazon. Just go to booksbyninaamir.com or look up 10 days and 10, day, 10 ways to return to your best self. And I call it a teshuva tool, bridging religious tradition. So what does teshuva mean? Teshuva is the Hebrew word for turning or returning. Okay, so it's a, a tool for returning that bridges religious traditions because it's not about Judaism per se. Okay, so let me tell you a little bit i'm gonna i'm gonna just kind of run through the chapters just a little bit for you because i think that by the the, the lessons in here are important if you don't want to buy the book it's fine um so i just want to go through these 10 days so there are 10 ways to do this and and i may at some point do a challenge around this but so the first day you're supposed to um, what, what I say here, I came up with 10 things. So uh, the classic to think about how you've sinned against other people. So how have you not been your best self with other people? You know, were you not present? Were you, um, uh, were you not present? Were you mean? Were you, uh, uh, you know, angry? Were you selfish, right? So what, how have you not been your best self with other people? Okay, and so you want to look at that and you want to consider how to make that better. So in every one of these cases, you're gonna look at how could I do a better job of being my best self? So how could I be a better, do a better job of being my best self with other people? The, on the second day, I say to look at your sins against yourself. So how have you not been your best self with yourself? Have you not done self-care? Have you, been, you know, been a workaholic? Have you not taken care of your health? Have you not eaten well? Or do you not sleep enough? Or you know, whatever it is that you're, you've been doing that isn't good for you, right? So I want you to look at that and say, how could I step into my best self with myself or for myself? On day three, I suggest you think about your sins against God. The thing is that your sins against God are really your sins against yourself. But if you want to think about, you know, from a more religious or spiritual aspect, how have you not been your best self? Have you not prayed? Have you not um, uh, treated your neighbor as yourself? Have you not uh, tithed or given to those in need? Or have you not fulfilled your purpose? You know, these are all, and I'm going to talk about purpose in just a minute, but you know, how have you sinned against God? But again, most of this really comes down to how did you sin against yourself? But so that's day two. And then of course you wanna step into your best self with your relationship with God. On the fourth day, you're going to turn towards your best self. So this is about personal development, really. And again, this is why I'm a high performance coach because I think that it's so important to turn towards that best self and say, that's who I wanna be. In high performance, we often talk about um, you know, describing uh, in a couple words your best self. Like, how would you describe yourself? What words would you use 
to describe that best self. And then we want to be thinking about those words on a continual basis and reminding ourselves of them so that we can always ask, am I living as that best self? And if not, do whatever it takes to, to live into that best self. And so it's a continual process of you know, developing new habits, new thought patterns, uh, learning, right? Personal development is a process. We grow personally every day if we allow ourselves to. We learn from our experiences and all of that. So that's day four. How have I been t turning towards my best self? How could I do a better job of stepping into that best self? Now on the fifth day, we talk about purpose, your soul purpose. And um, this again, you know, I said this kind of relates to, to your sin against God. I think that you come to the, into this world with a soul purpose. And whether or not you fulfill that is up to you, right? We can find lots of reasons not to do it. Sometimes it's scary. Sometimes it feels hard. Sometimes there are just other things that seem more important, right? But are you, are you fulfilling your sole purpose? And if not, what do you need to do to step into the, to become the kind of person who will do that, who will fulfill their sole purpose? Okay, so that was day five, so we're through five days, okay? Now, and for anyone who's just tuning in, I'm looking at this little book of mine, 10 Days and 10 Ways to Return to Your Best Self. So day six um, is human potential, and this is about, you know, what, pot what potential do you have? Are you living into that potential? Are you living up to that potential? I think we all want to. We sometimes end up feeling stuck or caged like we can't. Um, but we can if we really want to. And the, the thing is that if we're not living our purpose and fulfilling our potential, then we always have this feeling of something being missing, right? And, and you don't want to go through life feeling like something's missing and like you never stepped up and did what you wanted to do in this life and became the person you could be in this lifetime. That's going to be a regret when you die, that you didn't fulfill your potential and that you didn't fulfill your purpose or achieve your purpose, that you weren't your best self. So that's day six. Day seven is about honesty. How honest are you being with others, with yourself, right? Most of us go through life with a, sh I was going to say a bad word, with a whole lot of, of excuses. And we don't take responsibility. We're not honest about the fact that it's, it's up to us, like that it was our responsibility, whatever it is. We're just blaming others. We also tend to go through life with a whole bunch of negative thoughts that are lies, negative beliefs that are lies, that we tell ourselves to try to keep ourselves safe. You know, that um, I can't even think of any. There's so many of them. So many negative thoughts and really, and the stories we tell about the things that happened in our life where we don't take responsibility. These are all lies. The thoughts that you're not good enough, that you can't do it, that it's going to be, you know, that, that you're unwanted. Uh, the story that it was all the other person's fault. These things, they're lies. So you have to begin to be honest with yourself and with others. Okay, it makes a huge difference. Okay, so also in trying to take these 10 days to be your best self. After honesty, we have communication. So how are you communicating? Are you communicating in the best way that you can? Are you communicating as your best self? I've thought about this a lot recently. Um, there's some people in my life that trigger me and I end up not communicating well at all. And sometimes I'm afraid to communicate honestly. And so that's where the honesty comes back in. <clears throat> but how are you communicating? Think about that. How are you communicating? And are you communicating in the way that your best self would communicate? Number nine is payoffs. <clears throat> so payoffs is about looking at what you get for your behavior or your thought patterns. So a positive payoff is, you know, I'm not going to fulfill my potential as a writer. I'm not going to write that book that I thought I was going to write because I just, I'm not sure and I'm uncertain. I'm I'm uh, afraid, you know, all those things. And so if I don't write the book, I don't have to worry about being judged, about being told that the book wasn't good. I don't have to worry about it not selling and feeling lousy about that. So I can avoid a whole bunch of things. So those are, um, actually, those are negative payoffs. Those are the negative payoffs for me not doing it, right? So they sound like positive payoffs. <clears throat> but really positive payoffs would be, 
uh, something like, if I write the book and publish it, I can make an impact in people's lives, a positive and meaningful impact in people's lives. If I write the book, I am likely to be seen as an expert and attract clients which will help me uh, you know, support my family. That's a positive payoff. So you want to move away from the negative payoffs which are holding you back and not allowing you to live as your best self, not allowing you to fulfill your purpose or achieve your potential, right? So you want to look at those payoffs. <coughs> Excuse me. And the tenth day is faith. You know, how much faith do you have? Are you, you know, your best self probably has a lot of faith that things are going to work out right, that the, or well, that the universe has your back, that there's, you know, that things happen for a reason, and that the things you want and need will come, come into your experience. So I think that when you return to your best self, these are things you're always looking at. How have I hurt someone else? How can I step up and be a better person by, by you know, offering to make it right and saying I'm sorry? How have I sinned against myself? So, and you know, how can I take better care of me? But this is my body is my temple. How have I sinned against God and how can I rectify that? Can I do a better job of meditating and praying on a consistent basis or whatever it is? right? How am I turning towards my best self and reminding myself all the time that I want to be that person and to, to be that person every day as much as I can? How am I fulfilling my soul purpose? How am I achieving my potential? Uh, how am I communicating? Am I communicating well, as well as I could? And what are my payoffs? And how can I, you know, stop having these these, you know, focusing on the negative payoffs that don't allow me to step into my best self. And then how can I have more faith? How can I have more faith <clears throat> that, that it'll all be fine? That I will have what I need and want and that it's all working out in some sort of divine plan. So what I would suggest that you take the time to look at these things at some point during the year, maybe more than once during the year. Again, you don't have to be Jewish, but if you want the book, it's on Amazon, 10 Days and 10 Ways to Return to Your Best Self. I think so many of us get lost during the year. We, we start out with such good intentions to be our best selves, and then somewhere along the line during the year, we, we get off track. And so I just you know, feel like it's important to take the time to see where you've been off track. And this little book will help you do it. But do it on your own. I've just given you 10 different things you can look at. You can come up with 10 of your own. It doesn't matter. If you don't want to buy the book, these are actually on my blog um, at ninamir.com somewhere. I wrote this long ago, started out as blog posts. But in any case, what I want to inspire you to do, what I want to challenge you to do is to work on returning to that best self because we get sidetracked we turn in a different direction and we're, we're not our best selves and we have to return to that because it isn't like it's not who we are. It is who we are. We just forget. So just turn. Turn and look at yourself and see yourself as that best self, right? See that you are that best self and you just need to express it. So just turn and look at yourself and you'll see. You'll see the real you. I'm Nina Amir. I'm the Inspiration to Creation Coach. I'm a certified high performance coach and an author coach. And I love helping people get from where they are to where they want to go and um, helping them step into their best self, live their best life, achieve their potential and their purpose. Um, I often do that by helping them combine their passion with their purpose so they get inspired and take inspired action and that's how they get inspired results. But um, most often I'm working with people um, along those lines as well as with high performance coaching. And high performance coaching is an awesome way for you to master your psychology, your physiology, your productivity or effectiveness, your um, influence or persuasion, your, your people skills basically, and your purpose. So if that's something that you'd like to check out, go on over um, to my site to ninaamir.com forward slash free session and scroll down the page and fill out the application for a free certified high performance coaching session. And we'll get on the phone and we'll talk for uh, an hour or an hour and a half about things like clarity and energy and productivity and influence and see where you are. 
with these things and I'll give you some tips and tools and strategies that you can use right away. And if you feel like personal development isn't what you're looking for, you know, we just talked about a spiritual process, then know this, that personal development is spiritual, right? Personal development leads to spirituality, makes it more possible for you to be spiritual when you work on yourself. Because when you're working on yourself, you are becoming your best self. You're remembering your best self and stepping into that. So if that's of interest to you, then go ahead and click on the little um, I button, um, or there might be a little message, it might be over here, I think it's over there, um, and uh, it'll take you to the, the application for the sales page for Certified High Performance Coaching. You don't have to buy anything, just go down and for free, totally on me, uh, you can apply for a Certified High Performance Coaching uh, session and get on my calendar. And we'll chat, I'll give you some tips and tools that you can use immediately, and we can see if we're a good fit to work together and I'll tell you about my program, okay? So that's it for today. Until next time, go out there and achieve more inspired results. Mm -hmm.